Namaste everyone. Welcome to India House's Tuesday's Yoga Session. Please sit in any comfortable position. Sukhasana or Vajrasana, Padmasana or Adha Padmasana. Keep your back and neck straight and aligned. Roll your shoulders back and expand your chest. Place your hands on your lap and close your eyes. Let us begin with a simple centering practice. Take a deep breath and exhale completely. One more deep inhalation. Complete exhalation. Inhale. Exhale. Gently bring your attention to your breath. Observe a couple of breaths. Once again, take a deep inhalation and completely relax as you exhale. Bring your attention to your body and see how you feel in your body today. Do you feel any tightness in your muscles? Do you feel relaxed in your body? Just observe and acknowledge it. Now slowly shift your focus to your mind. And observe your thoughts. If your mind is wandering, thinking about the past or the future, gently drop all those thoughts. Bring it to the present moment. Let us take a mental resolve that we are going to be mindful. Bringing the present moment during this one hour of yoga session today. Let us start with the starting prayer. Please bring your hands together in Namaskar Mudra at your heart center. Inhale. Oh. Sahana Babatu, Sahana Bunatu, Sahavidium Karapavahi, Tejasvina Badita Mastu, Mavit Vishavahi, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Salutations to Sesh Patanjali. Yogena chittasya padena vacham malam sarirasya chavaitya kena yopa karotam pravadam muninam patanjalim pranjalinana tosmi. Release your hands with the downward kiss. Open your eyes. Let us begin today's session with standing warm ups. Gently come up to a standing position. We will start with warm up of all the joints in the body. Stand with your feet together, hands by the side of your body. Inhale, 
and bring your hands out and make a fist with your thumb inside and start rotating your wrist, both of your wrists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now reverse the rotation. One, two, complete rotations. Four, five, feel that stretch in the wrist joint. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And relax your hands. Now we'll uh, loosen up the elbow joints. Raise your hands out to your side, palm facing out. Inhale and touch your shoulder. Exhale and bring it back down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Relax. Now let's do shoulder exercise. Place your hands on your um, shoulders. Inhale and bring your elbows forward and up. Exhale, back and up. Inhale, forward, up. Exhale, back and down. Three, complete rotation of your shoulder. Four, five, Six, synchronize your breathing. Inhale, exhale. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now reverse your rotation. Inhale, back, up, four. Exhale, forward, and down. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and relax your hands. And relax your shoulders. Now, let us do some chest expansion. Hands in and out breathing. Once again, stand with your feet together. Bring your hands out in the front at your shoulder level. Palms facing each other. Inhale and bring your hands out and expand your chest. Exhale and bring your hands together. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and bring your hands back as much as you can and open up your chest. Exhale and bring them together. Inhale. Exhale. You can increase the speed if you can. Inhale. Exhale. As you open up your hands, your chest is opening up and your lungs are filling with air. And as you bring your hands together, you're letting go all the air out of your lungs, exhaling. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Couple of more rounds. Inhale, exhale. Do not lower your arms. Place your arms at your shoulder level. And keep your elbows straight. And as you inhale, bring your hands as back as you can. And last round, inhale and exhale. And bring your hands down to your sides. Take a moment and feel that nice blood rushing in your upper arms and upper back.
observe your body. Now, slowly open your eyes and we are going to do spinal exercise. Stand with your feet one and a half to two feet apart. Hands out in a star position. And inhale in the position. As you exhale, you twist and turn to your right. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the left. Bend the hand as you twist your body. And each time your hand touches your chest, you exhale. Do not uh, bend your knees. Stand straight. Only your spine should be um, twisting in here. Increase the pace if you can. Twist and turn and look at the hand that is stretched out behind you. That your neck is also twisted. Slow down. Slow down and gently stop the practice. Take a moment once again. Bring your legs together, close your eyes and feel the nice blood going into all your arms and your spinal region. Feel that relaxation. Now, let us do one more spinal exercise. Forward and backward bending. Stand with your feet together or slightly apart. And inhale and bend back. Bring your hands up. Exhale and bend forward and swing your arms back up in the air. Those with high blood pressure, stop at the tabletop level. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Swing your arms nicely back up so that you get that momentum to come back up. Just go down as much as you can. Bend from the bottom of your spine so that you can get maximum movement. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And stop the practice. Take a moment once again. Loosen up your shoulders and your body. Before we, we move on to the standing asana, just take a moment. And scan your whole body. Yeah. So you open your eyes and we'll go ahead and perform asanas in standing position. We will do um, Adha Chakra Asana first, half um, back bending. Stand with your feet together, hands on your waist, nicely supporting your waist or your lower back. As you inhale, you lean back and drop your neck and bring your elbows together and open up your chest. Inhale and exhale normally here. About five breaths. Feel a stretch in the throat region, compression in your neck and upper back region. Inhale and come back up to an upright position. Release your hands and relax and sit in a tadasana. Focus on the parts of the body that were during Adhya Chakrasana. 
the neck muscles, upper back and lower back muscles, the shoulder blades. Slowly open your eyes. And now let us do the next asana. Pada has passed out the hand to uh, toe, hand to feet first. Once again, stand with your feet together. Inhale and bring your hands up and bend back. And as you exhale, you bend forward from the bottom of your spine and bring your hands down to the floor. And now drop your neck and bring your head as close to your knees as you can. And hold that position. Normal breathing here. Try not to bend your knees. Feel that stretch in the back, in your buttock muscles, all the way down to your hamstrings and your calf muscles. Inhale and exhale for a couple of breaths. Slowly, as you inhale, bring your hands up and come to a tabletop position and upright position. Bring your hands down, relax it. Say the third asana once again. Feel the stretch in your back. But extend your hamstrings. Nice relaxation after the stretch. Nice. And we're going to do some lower body uh, warm ups. <clears throat> Let us start with um, sitting ankle rotations. Sit with your feet together. Back straight, hands either at the back or at the side. And start rotating your ankle joints. Clockwise, give a complete rotation. Just move your feet. Don't, feet, don't move the whole leg. And feel the stretch in the ankles as you do so. Now reverse your rotation. You can also bend and open your toes as you do your ankles. You can also do your toes. Now slowly start the practice. And let's do knee rotations. Hold one leg under your thigh. With cast hands and start rotating your knee. Clockwise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now reverse your rotation. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and relax. Let's do the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and reverse your rotation. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Relax your legs and let us do some hip, hip warm ups. Bring your soles of the feet together and bring them as close to the body as you can and hold them with your hands, hold your toes, and start flapping your legs like the wings of a butterfly. Focus on your hip joint here. 
and bring ma maximum movement to your hips. At the same time, feel the stretch in your inner thighs as you bring your legs down. The more you can uh, flap your um, thighs, the more stretch you can feel. Keep your back and neck straight in a line so that you get good movement in the hip joint. Normal breathing here. If you can do it uh, fast, you can do it in a slow manner, like inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Suit yourself, whichever you can. Let's do some but the Konasana breathing here. Inhale and as you exhale, bend forward and bring, try and bring your head closer to the mat as close as you can. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale and hold this one. Hold the position. With each exhalation, see if you can go down a little bit more. Then slowly inhale and come up. Release your hands and relax your legs. Relax and sit in Dandasana. Legs apart, hands supported. Behind you and neck relaxed. And feel the muscles in your lower body relaxing. Now let us do <clears throat> tiger breathing. Please come to Vajrasana position. From here, we're going on all fours. Distance between your knees is one arm slip. Distance between your hands and knees is one arm and one palm slip so that your spine is in a neutral position like a tabletop. Don't uh, go down or up. Your spine should be neutral. <clears throat> Once you're comfortable in this position, Start inhaling and curve your spine down and look up. Exhale, curve your spine up and look down. Inhale, up, exhale, look down, curve your spine up. Inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, your front part of the body is opening up. As you exhale, your back of the body is opening up and your front of the body is compressing. Feel those changes as you do so. Be mindful of your breathing and those changes in the body. So very good asana for the practice to help with back pain. Exhale and look down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And last round, we're going to hold this one. Inhale. Curve your spine down and look up and hold that position. Don't hold your breath. Keep breathing. Feel the stretch in the throat, upper chest, abdomen, the compression in your lower back, middle back, upper back and your neck. 
Now, exhale and curve your spine up and look down. And feel that stretch on the whole back from the neck to your tailbone. And the compression in your throat, chest, and abdomen. Inhale and come back to a neutral position. And come back to second Vajrasana position. <coughs> second Vajrasana, hands on your laps. Take a moment. And scan your whole body once again. See how you feel after tiger breathing. The wavy motion of your spine completely relaxes your spine and the muscles around it. Yeah, let us move on to the next asana. Chashankasana in second position or the child pose. Continue to sit in Vajrasana position. Hands behind you. Hold your right wrist with your left hand. You can make a fist of the right hand if you want. Inhale and lean back a little. And as you exhale, you bend forward with your abdomen touching your thighs first, and then your chest going down, and then your head touching the mat. Do not lift your buttocks off your heels. Now slowly, you can release your hands if you can, and place them stretched out in front of you. And enjoy this position. This is a very relaxing posture. Try and pose. Completely supported on the ground. Take a couple of breaths here. As you inhale, bring your hands to your back, behind you. Exhale. And as you inhale, bring your head up, then your chest, then your abdomen. You come to an upright position. Feel the blood <coughs> coming back. As you come up, slowly release your hands and place them on your thighs. Release your right leg. Relax your left leg. And relax. Siddhi Ladandasana once again. <clears throat> Feel the relaxation in the body. Take a moment after each asana. Take a moment to see what changes that asana has brought in the body. Be mindful, be observant. And slowly open your eyes and let us do another asana in sitting position. And into Janu Sirshasana of the head to knee pose. Start bending your left uh, knee and place your sole of the foot uh, along your inner thigh, right thigh. Straighten yourselves. And as you inhale, you bring your hands out to your side, to your shoulder level, and then up. Palms facing forward. Stretch up from the bottom of your waist. Inhale. As you exhale, you bend forward. 
and touch your toes. If you can touch your toes, you can touch your ankle, just above your ankle or anywhere on the back, you can. Now, bend forward a little more and try and bring your head as close to your knee as you can. Head to knee pose. John Sishasana. Each exhalation, see if you can go a little further down. Don't bend your knee. Try and keep it as straight as you can so that you get the good stretch in your hamstrings. And when you're in your final position, just let go of all the effort and let the gravity do its job. Normal inhalations and exhalations. And as you inhale, slowly bring your hands up and come into an upright position. Exhale and bring your hands down and relax your left leg. Now let us do the same thing on the other side. Inhale and bring your right sole of the foot closer to your left inner thigh, parallel to your thigh. And inhale and bring your hands out to your side and up and stretch up from the bottom of your base. And as you exhale, you bend forward and try and reach your left toe, right toe, or wherever on the leg you can. And from here, try and drop your head and bring it as close to the knee as you can. Don't stretch yourself too much. See if you can go a little bit more with each exhalation. But when you're in your final position, just let go of the effort. And complete inhalation and exhalation. And slowly inhale and bring your hands up and come to an upright position. Exhale and bring your hands down and relax your leg and relax it. Sibila, then Dasana once again. Focus on your lower uh, back of your legs and your lower back. Breathe into those muscles and relax them completely. Now slowly open your eyes and let us move on to um, prone position, lying on your abdomen. Come down and lie on your abdomen. And hands by the side of your body, palms facing up. And let us start with a simple warm up here. Bow from uh, leg raising, inhale and bring your right leg up. Exhale and bring it down. Don't bend your knees. Alternate right and left. Inhale, right. Exhale, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, right, left. Right, don't lift your chin up. Your chin should be on the ground. Tighten your core muscles and tighten your thigh muscles here. Don't bend your knees. Good warm up, good exercise for your thighs and your abdomen. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Synchronize with your breathing. Never hold your breath. Inhale, exhale. 
together if you can then look up normal breathing here do not hold your breath very good asana for your pancreas for diabetes and slowly exhale and bring your legs down and your chin to the ground release your legs and relax it Mukarasana position, legs spread apart, heels facing each other, hands folded in front of you, and your chin or your cheeks resting on your hands. Relax your posture. Just feel your lower back, abdomen, chest region after Dhanurasana. Now, slowly release the position and roll on to your back. Roll on to one side and then on your back. Get it started. Um, so find position, warm ups. Let us do um, straight leg raises in supine position. We're going to work out the front of the Highs. Inhale and bring your leg up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, exhale. Alternate with your right and left. And do not bend your knees. Once again, tighten your back muscles and your core as you do so. This is also a good warm up for your abdominal muscles and your legs. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep doing it, keep breathing, synchronize with your breathing. Do not hold your breath anywhere. You can point your toes towards yourself so that your knee is straight, it's not bent. And slowly stop the practice. And relax it. Shavasana position. Take a couple of deep breaths. Then let's do one asana in lying down position. Uttana Padasana or uh, raise the leg pose. We're going to bring our legs up and hold the legs together. So you can place your hands either on the side of the body or below your uh, buttons, supporting them. 
supporting your lower back and buttocks. And as you inhale, you bring both your legs up at an angle of 30 degrees to the ground and hold that position. Inhale and exhale. Let's come to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tighten your core and concentrate on your abdominal thighs. Exhale and bring your legs down and release your hands and relax it. Shavasana once again. That was a good, very good asana to improve core strength and uh, in, increase the strength in your thighs. And strengthens your lower back as well. Relax in Shavasana. Continue to lie down in Shavasana position. We will do a quick relaxation technique here. Start observing your abdominal movements. Observe your abdomen raising and falling with each breath you take. Close your eyes and observe it. Don't influence your breathing. Just be an observer and see how it is raising and falling down for about five breaths. Now slowly associate your breathing with your abdominal movement. Inhale and see that your bul uh, abdomen is bulging up. And as you exhale, you see that your abdomen is falling down. Continue to observe this pattern. Inhale, fill your lungs with air and bulge your abdomen out. Exhale, let go of all the air and let your abdomen sink down into the mat. Three more rounds. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bulge up, exhale, sink down. Inhale, exhale. One more round, inhale, exhale. Now, as you inhale, feel that lightness in the body. And as you exhale, feel that heaviness in the body, in your body, sinking down into the mat. Inhale and energize your whole body. Exhale and relax the whole body. Inhale and bring in positivity into the body. Exhale, let go of all the stress and tension out of the body. Deep inhalation. Complete exhalation. As you inhale, fill your lungs up with air and feel the oxygen going into your lungs and into your whole body. 
completely energizing it. And as you exhale, feel that air going out of your lungs and removing all the toxins from the body. One more deep inhale and completely relax the body as you exhale. To further enhance this relaxation, we are going to chant Vanakara with focus on the mind, body and breath. And feel the vibrations of Akara in the lower part of the body, especially in the legs. Inhale. Vibrations of Akara resonate through the body and completely relax it. Slowly wiggle your toes, bring your feet together, wiggle your fingers, bring your hands by the side of the body. And roll on to one side, right or left, whichever you prefer. And lie back, lie there for a moment with your biceps supporting your head. Enjoy the relaxing posture for a moment. And when you feel like it, sit up with the help of your hands. Continue to close your eyes if you can throughout this process. And come up to sit in a meditative posture. Vajrasana or Sukhasana, Padmasana. Once again, back and neck aligned and straight. This uh, helps your breathing easier. Open up your chest, roll your shoulders back. And let us start with Kapalabhati. Left hand in Shin Mudra, right hand on the abdomen or in Shin Mudra, whichever you prefer. We're going to do uh, 50 to 60 breaths per minute. Those with high breath pressure can do slow Kapalabhati, 30 breaths per minute. Inhale. So, automatic cessation of the breath. There is a couple of moments where you don't feel the need to breathe after Kapalabhati. Enjoy the calmness and silence in your head.
and then you feel like breathing. Resume your normal breaths. Over. One more round of Kapalabhati. Inhale and begin exhalations. Once again, automatic cessation of breath. Completely relax your mind. And then resume normal breathing. Take a couple of breaths. And let us move on to the next pranayama. Nadi Shuddhi or alternate nostril breathing. Milom milom. Right hand in, Nasika Mudra. Index and middle fingers bent, other fingers open. Left hand in Chin Mudra. Place your uh, right hand in front of your nostrils. Inhale with both the nostrils first. Now close your right nostril with your thumb and exhale with your left. Inhale with your left. Close your left with your ring finger and exhale with your right. Inhale with your right. Close your right and exhale with your left. That makes one round of Nadi Shuddhi. Let's do six more rounds. Inhale with your left. Exhale with your right. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale with your left. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale with your right, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale with your left, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale with your right, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale with your right. Exhale with your left, six, five, four, three, two, one. Continue three more rounds. 
at your own pace. Make the exhalations longer than the inhalations. Very calming practice. Balance your nadis, ida and pingala. Harmonize your pranas. Releases all the stresses and tensions. Whenever your mind is wandering, gently bring it back to your breath. Follow your breath. When you're at the end of the seventh round, exhale all the air out through your left nostril and gently stop the practice. Let us do Brahmari Pranayama, Shamukhi Mudra. We're going to do three rounds of Brahmari. Spread your fingers across your face, thumbs on your ears, tongue touching the roof of the mouth. Inhale and close your ears and chant Nakara with a slightly open mouth. Feel the vibrations in the head region. Inhale. Mm. Second round, inhale. Third round, inhale. Raise your hands, place your palms on your thighs. Normal breathing. Take a moment once again to observe your mind, body, and breath. Your breath has slowed down. Your body is relaxed. Your mind is calm and peaceful. Continue this state of mind throughout the day. Let us end today's session with a mantra. Please bring your hands together in Namaskara Mudra at your heart center. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha, sarve santu niramayaha, sarve bhadrani pasyantu, makas chit dukkha bhagavet. 
शांति 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 Release your hands and bring them back behind you. Hold your right wrist with your left hand. Inhale and lean back. And as you exhale, bow down before the divine and all the yoga masters who gave us yoga. Inhale and come back up. Release your hands and rub your palms together. Generate some warmth. your eyelids, spread the warmth onto your eyes and your face, gently massage your eyelids, forehead, cheeks, neck, shoulders, arms and your hands and with a downward gaze, looking at your palms with a few blinks. Open your eyes. Namaste, everyone. Thank you.